Yep. I go npm first, right? Yes, yep. npm i. Install. No, just i. npm i. Oh, there's no extra part? There's no. Nah, it's telling you what to do on, okay, so it says all those creates, and then it says cd into it, right there, cd taco tracker, and then you just npm i. Just like, into the install the dependencies. And I don't know what the debug does, just I, it deleted my file the last time I'd used it. Is this when we make our directories, or do we do one more thing? Oh, now you launched it in VS Code. Do we have to do npmi mongoose and npmi method override? I suppose you could do it here. Yeah, you you do do it. It. I feel like if we're in the terminal, we might as well just knock it out now if we can. So what, what was the one? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, NPMI mongoose, and yeah, that's it. Space, uh, yeah, you could, that's fine. You know you can install multiple packages at once. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay. And then NPMI I, and then another one, or? NPMI method hyphen override. With the two R's, right? Yes. Override. This look good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, How do you install the multiple things? Is it just, just just put a yeah, space between them? It's just space. I, I just forgot. Yeah, it's all good. So if you cool. if you if you do code and then dot and just like to just to test if you want to go into your yeah and then once and then, oh, once oh, you've oh, verified oh, once you've verified that this is running then Brady your step is done. Yeah. So if you type in node one in your terminal just to make sure it's all jelly. No mom, right? Yeah, just to see that, just make sure everything's cool. Cuckoo! And Yay, then local host is officially sweet. Beautiful. Cool. Thanks, the Hall. next step that I want the next person to do is going to be to rename app.js into server.js, stub up our directories for controllers and models, and um, oh, that's it really. Oh, and rename the user um, resource as the taco resource. Miranda, y'all are just going to have to believe me on the names because I'm not going to share my screen just to share a name. So uh, I'm going to type I the steps out. Believe. So I want you to create directories for models, controllers. I want you to rename the app.js, the server.js, and I want you to rename the user resource routes and explain what you're doing so people can follow along. Okay. Uh, all right. So I'm going to start by renaming app.js to server.js. Um, and then I'm going to go into bin and then my www file and then in line seven i'm also going to change that to server so that that's what we're referencing instead of the app file was there one no it was just that one place in the www file right okay um and then i'm going to go into actually i guess i'll create the did you say i need to create the controller and the um the models Directories folder, for models. Oh, is that part of my yeah. step? M models, controllers. Okay. I'm going to put all the instructions for each person in Slack. I'm going to be typing these out as we go. But I want you to create directories for models, controller, rename app, which you've already okay. done, and then I want you to rename the user resource as taco. So the okay. user that sounds good. route and all yeah, that fun stuff user. is taco. Cool. Okay. So then in my terminal, I'm just going to do make directory models and controllers. Um, and both of those are over here now. So then I'm going to do a file in here just called um, taco controller. I guess I can just call it taco actually tacos.js. Um, and then in models, I'll do a new file just called taco singular uh, .js. And then um, to rename the routes, I'll go into the server.js and on line eight, uh, where it says users router, I'll change that to tacos, tacos router. 
um, and then I'll change the actual route it's taking. Um, tacos and then also in line 23, this will also be tacos and then we'll be using the taco router. So we're just changing all of those names. Um, and then in the actual routes folder, we'll just change the name of users.js to tacos.js so that we're referencing that route now from the server file. Cool. Can you make sure that your app still works? Yes. Okay. Then. Okay. Post eight thousand. Okay, and then I think if I do, yeah, and it looks like it's still working because it's printing that automatic message that the express generator gives you. Love it. Uh, your work is done. Thank you, Miranda. Oh, yeah. Next up, uh, the next step that I put in Slack is to create a database connection to a local database. And I want to display that we're connected down at the bottom of the screen. That is Michael. I am slightly behind the function. Can you show the code for everything? Because I think I got behind. Sorry, please. I can't. I'm not doing this with you guys. Oh, I'm typing oh, instructions. So, you, so some, what? yeah. Well, is the next step to adding the database? So you're going to do the config, yeah, database, and you just copy and paste it from another one because we're not supposed to memorize that. <laughs> So if you just go into an, the config in in another, like in your movies one, for example, and just copy that database there, go to config. Yeah. And then, so you're going to, you're going to need to create a folder in our tacos one, and then you're going to copy and paste all of that into the config and then make a, um, make a file for your database and put all that in there. Please. JS, and then I'll go here and copy, and then I'll try to talk through what this is doing. Here we're requiring mongoose. I don't know what all of this really does all the time. I have never. Really... I'd be impressed if any of us did. <laughs> We did it this way. We have to add the dot mv. Yeah, we did it that way. We'd have to add the dot mv. But one basically, line you can change. So one line in here has to change. Uh, I want one. you to connect to a local database, not so line three. Line three. This is for whatever the hell mongoose. No. Yeah. yeah. So. so you would change what's in the parentheses okay. right there. So delete all that. Would be localhost 3000, right? Would be uh, print or commas or sorry, Jesus, uh, quotes. And then you just do Mongo DB colon forward slash forward slash. Local host forward slash tacos. And then you can make sure that it's actually uh, connected. connected and showing the the port in your terminal. So you're missing some stuff here, so. 
we're going to need to make some adjustments. So go into your bin yeah. www file real quick and change app on line seven to server. And that's all you need to change there. What error are we getting? Scroll up. Don't we have to require it in the server.js? Yeah, you need to require the database. What is this error coming from, though? Module. Uh, can I find a module? Because what did he not do? He hasn't created controllers or. Um, oh, that's not what's, he, that's so, true, that, but he hasn't he's exported it. No. The express generator? NP NPMI, right? Yay, there it is. NPMI. NPM. Cool. Now we need to connect to the database. Mm -hmm. So we're connecting to the data database in the server. Yep. And that's going to be over here on line seven, right? Yep. So then we're just requiring it. Mm -hmm. Is that right? So far, so good. Require. Mm. Uh, you need a period before the slash. Yeah, because you're going out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need to reference something. Requiring. Same thing, right? To take that database. Yep. Uh, slash database. Okay, that's not working. Scroll up. Let's see what. Yeah, what's what error are you getting? Scroll up in your terminal. You don't. Do you have mongoose installed? Yeah, MPMI mongoose. Sorry, I just definitely want to. Pretty good. Okay, sure. And, you know, on the doc, the Google doc, you're going to keep running into that same uh, single quote issue. It's just how it pops up here. Okay, we're connected. Yeah, we go. Cool. All right. Next person that will be creating our taco model, Nandita, you are going to create a taco model. You're going to give it a name, property, ingredients, and a a tasty boolean. So a string, an array of strings, and a boolean. Just like I put in Slack. You're going to share your screen too. Yeah. I didn't connect for some reason. Who did what? Yours didn't connect? No. Let's check it out. Yeah, I do anything. I require a big database. MongoDB. Lowercase MongoDB. Um, Line three. Change those yeah. to lowercase db. Oh, I see. Is that it? Oh. That's not it, though. Go ahead and scroll up. See on your error, see what your error says. Can I find module routes taco? Can you open your routes folder? Yeah, you have to change tacos. And then make sure that that's changed in the server as well. 
Yeah, that should be good now. Yeah. Go. Thank you guys. Yeah. Are we making a schema for tacos or are we making just yeah. tacos? A schema. Okay. Yeah. So is so, it a data screen? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so cool. first we gotta require the mongoose. Uh, thing, right? Yeah. And then we gotta do the schema. Um, well, you can make the shortcut. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. What, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? The, this thing? Yeah. 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 It's equal to, what was it? Mongoose. Mongoose dot schema. Is the is that taco or tacos? I mean, should, I think it's be. tacos. Yeah, I think you're we, right. Singular. Yeah. Taco, taco in models. Mo yeah. So it should be singular. Okay. And then the first object in here is going to be the name, which is a string. Yeah. So that would be. Uh, I want to apologize because I am a very slow typer. Um, so you'd want to make it like it kind of right, wouldn't it be? Colon, yeah. Yeah, colon. Like a, yeah. It's an object. object and then it, yeah, and then open your object. Or you just do string. Your, open. You can type string. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's no, there's nothing else in it, I guess. Yeah. So you would only need to have like type equals string if you had other things. Other things there. Okay. The ingredients would be like that, right? Because it would, uh, because it would have like an array of that. Yeah. I'm just gonna copy paste from the Slack. I cannot spell ingredients. You're so close. I, um, <laughs> I do not trust myself after this. Uh, I think we're missing, you're missing an missing an at the I. beginning. Even when I copy paste, I misspelled it. <laughs> and then we'll like set the ingredients that we want, I guess. W would it be an object and then an array or would it be an it, array? Well, it would be it would that, be it would be array. that yeah, and then you do the enum and then the array inside of there, right? At least one string, yeah. 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 Well, right, so you'd make it an object, it'd be type string and then comma enum and then the ingredients that are in there, right? Well, we yeah. could do it like this unless, if we want to specify specific ingredients, then we have to put an object with enum inside of it. Right. But if we want to just have an array full of strings, like with oh, no qualifications, okay. then we can okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, do we want to do that? I think. No, it, we'll just do this. Simple. Okay. We're going okay. simple with this. A uh, shell type. Soft shell hard. Uh, I just need to do Boolean for tasting. Yeah. yeah. Would, would just putting bool, boolean there work? Yep. Or would I need to make it an object? Nope, that's perfect. No. Okay. Uh, how do I test this? And I, then your timestamp. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, timestamps. Yeah. I always forget to do those. Me too. <laughs> that's why I just remembered. <laughs> You're not, that's not going in the right split spot. Yeah. Yeah, it's after you put the, it, yeah. After the curly bracket in between that closing parenthesis. You need a comma and then open a new bracket, curly bracket. You need, that needs to be in a curly bracket as well. Uh, 
Uh, don't you have to ex- and then you need to export it yeah yeah where you want it to go so you need to export the flight schema to like taco or whatever can and i ask why that why each of these things isn't in an object like why string because we're not passing other um other things in it so it's just a string we don't we're not setting a default for anything we're not set we're not hard coding any um any keys into it it just it's just super simple so what is that we don't need the object yeah so like it we're only saying the name is a string the ingredients are an array of strings and if it's tasty or not but if we were if we had we wanted things to be more specific um just for use user functionality and all that kind of stuff or whatever just to make it look prettier this is so simple so it's just thank you i was like why yeah, that's know. correct so wait so in the model exports so like taco taco capital t that's just referencing that we're in the taco singular model right correct okay it's it's not so much that we're in it it's that all of the above code is being exported as taco, taco capital t Okay, I think that, yeah, that tripped me up before wondering, okay, yeah, that helps, cool. Excellent work, Nandita. Next step will be completed by Kim, and it is to create a link on the index view that will route the user to a new taco view, stub up the router, and write the route. Oh, boy. You don't even have to do the controller function. So all I want you to do is create that link on the index view that routes, and then I want you to stub up the router and write the route. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So going into views and we create in our index page, create that link. So we'll do a uh, hyperlink that references um, t- uh, slash tacos and then view tacos. Um, and so we have our user interface. So then we go into uh, we go into uh, our wrap. Oh want no! You to for add a new taco. So new. Oh, taco. add a new. Okay. So in that case, it's going to be tacos slash new and create taco. So then we are going to create that route. Um, so in this case, it would be taco. So routes needs to be, am I create? now I'm blanking. Am I creating a totally separate, so separate it would, file for that? Are we not doing the controller? It would be in the tacos yeah. and then it would be router.get, right? Uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll yeah. Be. We would need to require the, uh, the controller. Mm-hmm. So it'd be like it'd be the taco controller and then require it in the control. Yeah. Uh, so const tacos control equals fire. Uh, dot dot slash controllers slash tacos. And then down here it would be router dot get uh, slash we're already in taco so then we need slash new um, and then we do tacos control dot create oh, is that right don't router dot get slash new tacos control mm. is it new dot new is it dot new yeah because right because we need to create a new form before we actually create a taco okay all right That's so it oh Cool. <laughs> That's all I you to do. And we can delete the get users listing, right? Mm-hmm. You can. Yeah. Cool. Next, we'll be to stub up the controller and write the function for rendering a new view of the form. Create the view and write the form. That will be Nick.
You're muted. You're still muted. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Everything I just said. Const taco. Yeah. We'll require the model in the controllers. Dot dot slash models slash taco. Um, set up our module export. New, and since new is a reserved word, we're going to call this new taco. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I guess this is just a get request for this page, right? So we're just going to render to the new page. <clears throat> new taco, and then it would be um taco slash new would be where we're going to render it to yeah. uh no forward slash in front of tacos i believe for a render function that is correct don't we have to require yeah. the title oh no sorry go ahead yeah uh, my my server is fucked up though, so that's not gonna work. Well, let's check it out. Server.js config.database config. You're missing a slash. Dot slash config. Oh Jesus! Thank you. Index error strikes again. <laughs> do, we have, do we have to put title also in that? Oh goose. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, since we don't have we're our, not gonna worry about titles or anything. Yeah, we're not doing any of that garbage. This is going to be nice and easy. <laughs> Mogus is not defined. Jesus. Wait, do we need to do a title on this one or no? Schemas. Like the add, add deja new vu, taco. Deja vu, deja vu. Add new taco. We're going to keep it simple. Oh my God. You wrote it's Mia on line three. I'm sorry? Mogus dot is Mia. Yeah. Oh, it's misspelled it there as well. Cool. Shmia. There we go. Jesus. Where am I? What, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not yeah, connecting to your database. Great. So let's check out your database.js. Is there something in front of MongoDB? Let's just restart your server real quick, RS, in your terminal. Okay, let's see your server.js. You need to require your database. Right here? Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah. Huh. That's weird. Is there something in front of MongoDB, like a slash or something stupid like that? It's just MongoDB colon dash. Oh, I'm not sure. If Sorry, do you need an underscore no. before tacos? No. Sure. No. Does he have to do the pseudo start? Because I had to do that so I can actually get my MongoDB to start. Uh, Linux? Yeah. It's been yeah. working fine recently. I, I haven't needed to do that. So you've been using Alice. You've been running it through the server, yeah. Uh, what is the thing? Pseudo start at the moment? Uh, just in the terminal, right? Yep. Yeah. It should be work. pseudo service. Services. Yeah, services. Sorry. You're fine. I think it's actually just service. For Windows, it is not for Linux. Pseudo oh. services, Mongo D, start. Oh, uh, God damn it. Yeah, it's what? service. <laughs> <laughs> 
Live. Mongo DB start. Mongo I D think for Nick it's Mongo D. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I could be wrong again. There you go. There we go. There we go. I right. think. I feel like you should get an okay message there, but okay. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get a message. Uh, I don't know. There, there you go. go. Hey. Very good. Okay. Um, so let's go back to uh, my freaking controller. Um, what was the other step? I'm sorry. It was create the view like and write the form. Create the view. So do we want a new folder for tacos? Is that right? Yep. Ah, crap. Just click out. Oh, thank you. Sanity check. Put something random on there. Let's put H1 party. Hey. Cool. So we want there to be what, like a form or something here? Like, mm -hmm. you know, off the top of my head, I'm like. Yeah, form. Tacos, I think. Love it. Um, so I guess like this is, we're stepping up now for the next part of this, right? Like this is leading mm -hmm. into the next function. Okay. That's all I was like, I don't know why I'm. Um, anybody like any idea what's supposed uh, to go into? label label and input, right? Like uh, name or What's coming next? Ingredients, right? I'll just say ingredients. <laughs> it, you're right. Okay. <laughs> cool. Anybody? Ingredients. Um, maybe like. So beautiful. Great. Oh God. Set. Separate. Uh, separate. <laughs> is it? Is it matter that I'm putting parentheticals there? Like it's a label, so it should just print that out, right? Check your page. Check it's just page. weird that it's yellow. I don't like that it's yellow at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm running into an issue. It says that res.render is not a function. Uh, and I think I just wait. Let's let Nick finish. Oh, we can take a look. Uh, label. What's the uh, tasty? Tasty. Um. Uh, I guess like, how do you do like a checkbox? I think it's. Uh, Checkbox, right? I think.
Beautiful. And then a submit button, yeah. Yep. Let's talk. Perfect. Okay. So let's take a look at the error that uh, was at Nandita. Yeah. Let's check it out. Excellent work, Nate. <clears throat> okay. Can we see your code? It's out of the way. Uh, I messed up somewhere. <laughs> what am I missing? I'm missing something here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I see it. A, B, C. Ah, I got it. Uh, request yeah, before yeah. res. Oh. Not res rec. Back is before res. In your arguments. Oh. Q, R, S. Okay. I hate that error. I hate that error so much because it doesn't tell you anything about how to fix it. Wonderful. All right. Next step will be to. I'm also not connecting. I don't know why to this new. The taco's new. All right. Let's check it out. So I have that all set up. Oh, probably something with that. What is that? Yeah. I have no idea. Why did those appear? Those have appeared and like messed up my code so many times. Like, what are those like? Sometimes random you things. Control click or command click into things. It'll add. So I'm still getting a port explorer. Not, not found. What does that usually indicate? The server. The server. Oh, right. Yeah, but that oh, was this taco's nice. new. No. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at your server. Well, yeah, you should be in tacos, but oh, it's because uh, this is taco. There we go. That probably fixed it. There we go. Thank you. So the next person will be Jennifer. Oh, perfect. So I'm getting a typer. Um, cool. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so let me share my screen. Um, so it says type error invalid schema configuration. And then when I go into the taco schema, Wait. go ahead. Time stamp. stamps. Oh. Also line four. Uh, yeah, you need taco schema equals new schema with a capital S. There you go. Um, so, uh, we're doing the controller function for creating a new taco. Let's check out, make sure it's working first. Okay. I lost my. Either way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool. So yes, you are going to write the route for the form and then well technically that well we have the route, you just need to write the route in the router, and then you're gonna write the controller function for creating a taco and then redirecting to a taco index view. Okay. Um, so doing the router, we're going to do router dot, I think this is a post. A new post, yeah. And we're saying to do, uh, yeah, 
It would just be slash, right? Because we're already in tacos. Okay, so we don't have to do create or anything. Well, we do that. We have to do that, but we don't have to. Um, yeah, we don't have to do like tacos slash create. No, create is after the controller, not there. Okay. So just be slash, and then you do comma tacos controller dot create. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we were talking about this last night because I was getting really confused with pass. So everything when we're in our server and we say slash tacos, that's automatically before all of our tacos routes. So when we do slash, it's just going to that page, right? I think if that's what I understand. You're hitting the route of slash tacos, yes. Cool. That looks good. So let's go write the controller function. So it would be function A. Oh, yeah. Rec res. Rec res. Open. And then we are saying that. Mm. Do it the easy way. We have access to Mongo, MongoDB, right? Mongoose. Let's you use our model to create it. Right? Yeah. Capital T. Beautiful. And then rec that body. <laughs> then we can re. Either render or redirect. I can't remember. Then redirect to the taco index view. You're missing a forward slash. Yeah, forward slash. The redirect. What am I missing? That forward slash, you have it now. Okay. You're also missing some other stuff. And you stuff. need to, to export, export it. the function. Does it matter? I mean, I mean, I remember we were saying it before. Does it matter if exports is at the top? You said that it did matter or did it matter? Okay. I... Yeah, for we're me, awesome. I just like having it at the bottom. We're missing some other stuff here. Mongoose functions all require callback what? function. Callback functions, right? So um, to save it. You'd save it if you're creating an instance of it, but we're using create. So after rec.body, there you go. Um, error comma taco. Right. Beautiful. Pop. No, no, oh, yeah, you do that. Oh, no. I lost track of my curly races. That's, yeah, that's why option up arrow is amazing because that would have fixed it with one keystroke rather than whatever you're doing right now. Okay. So you need a parentheses on, uh, and a curly braces uh, behind res.redirect slash tacos. Just put a, yeah, and then hit enter and put another curly bracket. There you go. Is taco supposed to be capitalized when you're passing it in the that callback function? No. Yeah. Why does it look? Oh, it's not capitalized. I was like, uh, it's only capitalized. Yeah, for create because we're talking about the the right. Model. Okay. Also, tab that line ten in. Your indentations off. And then tab in line nine as well. Because hmm. it's inside that function. Yeah. Now. Okay. okay. What, so is taco, so like capital T taco is a reference to our um, model. model. And then the taco in the air is just like something we technically just made up to reference that we could do banana. Right. Well, right. We can Why don't we console log it to the page, right? 
well, if we're redirecting, we don't need to do that. But let's console log it. Between, between 8 and 9, console log your taco. That way we can test if our create function is working. Do we want to console log capital taco? Uh, no. Right. See how it lit up when you did that? Delete the T real quick. See how it faded? Now add the tea back and watch it pop like a Christmas tree bulb. Poof. See that? It's saying, hey, it's, this is being used now. Perfect. So this is still going to lead us to an error when we click it. Why? Your code is fine. You don't have the routes yet? Right. The route or the view? Well, you have to do the router dot. Um, this is the restful, whatchamacallit. Um, so you'd have to do a router dot post in your routes. We did that. And oh, you, oh. So the next thing after that, we went into controller model. And that's, are we doing the views or are we still trying to console log? Where are we at? Did you, uh, wait, is there, did you already put the route on the button where like once you click the button, it goes to the create thing? Like, I we, thought we did that with the, like with the, the form input and method or the form action and method. We put in the action? I don't think we put the action in. I thought we skipped that and just jotted it up and never actually put the action of the form. Oh, it's right there. Tacos. <clears throat> oh, there. Okay. So what, what was happening? Oh, I, I didn't realize that we already put the action in. So it was I think you were right about the, um, where am I? Um, the controller on the controller, um, function create. Do we, do we, do, do we have to like do the constant flight equals new, uh, constant taco equals new taco rec dot body and then taco dot create. Mm -hmm. Or is that only that's, with base stuff? That's where I was headed before, but maybe that's wrong. Because we like do want to save it at some point. Create right? automatically saves it for you. Create automatically saves it. Okay. It's not console logging it when you submit, right? Correct. So why don't you put up top between seven and eight, why don't you console log rec.body? And let's see if that shows up when you hit that button. So is it making it to that function? No. No. Let's take a look at your server. Oh, we have to do that app dot use. Oh, setting up that router for the create. Sorry. We have to mount it. No. That looks no, fine. Yeah. So let's look at your router again. Okay. What's happening? Uh, mm. In the router? Do 
he oh, usually puts you on because... that export. Go ahead. No, 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 I wasn't on the right track. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do you usually put your module that exports at the bottom? I do, yeah. I mean, I can try putting them on top, but. Well, I was just wondering if you usually do or. Um, for create, would this be taco slash new? I mean, if you wanted to redirect back to that, we don't have a route for tacos yet, but we're not even getting that far. Why don't you try pushing your button again and see if it refresh your page and then, or just hit submit. So it's not even getting to your function. Cool. So. What is happening here? Do you have an HTML or something that's not closed or? Yeah, look at that. You're closing your form on line 11 for some reason. Huh. Oh uh, yeah. That's a fun oh, error. Oh, how? Jesus. I don't even know how I manage that. You should probably indent lines 10 to 16 so you know that this is where the uh, form stuff is and these are the things that are inside the form. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you like, no, 10, all the lines from 10 to seven, uh, 16. So if you highlight all of them and just press tab, it should indent all of them. Yeah. Take 17 with you too. 17 needs to come in one line. There, there you go. go. Perfect. So that way this uh, button is tied to that action. It wasn't, yeah. it, that, that, that button wasn't being tied to actions post tacos. Mm -hmm. And now it is. So let's, let's go ahead and try to submit a taco now and see if it works. Probably refresh your page. That's okay. We knew that was going to happen. Take a look at your code, make sure it's submitted. Hey, there you go. Perfect. So when we come back from lunch, we're going to keep working on this. Jesus. Uh, well, we got off to do. We will keep working on this later. So we're going to put push pause right now. That wasn't because it's yeah, that Jesus wasn't for you. Sorry. Thank yeah. you, by the way. This, this is so nice. no, this is we're really going to keep helpful. doing this. Yeah, yeah we're really going to keep doing this. Later. So when we come back from lunch in 55 minutes, we're going to do auth. And then after auth, we'll go back to lighter stuff with the rest of this. And I'll keep going with this until we're done with full crud. And then if anyone wants to do it again, we'll do it again. Then if we want to do it again, then I'll ask my wife. And if she says yes, we'll do it again. Get your wife to do it with us. I don't think she would enjoy that as much as y'all would. I would thoroughly enjoy that. You need to ask her. <laughs> yeah. Go eat some lunch. I'll see y'all in 55 minutes. Thank you.